welcome back to my channel. I am Rin. For those who are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. So today I am super excited to share with you my recent adventure into Glossier pop-up in Covent Garden. And this video will be based on my um, unboxing and also my first impressions. Before I start, I just want to make it very clear that I have no affiliation with the brand Glossier itself. And this isn't a sponsored video. It's just purely my uh, first experience and also my opinions. So if you're still interested, stay watching. So for as long as I remember, my friends have been raving about the brand and the products itself, but I never really got the chance to really explore it myself until quite recently. And as a beauty lover and a makeup artist, I'm always, always on the hunt for the latest products and also what's new in the market, not only to use it on myself, but also to add to my kit. So just a few fun facts here for those who are unfamiliar with the brand. Glossier is a New York based brand that was launched back in 2014 by CEO and founder Emily Weiss. It was originally launched on her beauty blog Into the Gloss at the time and it began as an e-commerce site and now it celebrates natural beauty. Um, there were four main products initially launched with their first collection. So there was the moisturizer, the moisture mist, there was the sheer tint and also a all-purpose lip balm. Now it's definitely grown and expanded into many, many products in various categories such as fragrance, makeup, skincare and body care. And there's even a limited edition fashion merchandise collection um, that's currently on their website if you're curious to check out. So personally I was very fascinated with the brand's approach to creating their products, especially their tagline beauty inspired by real life um, because it feels quite genuine and I also was attracted to the fact that they were 100% cruelty free which is something that I'm leaning towards more and more nowadays when I'm selecting my products for myself and also for my kit. Here it is! This is my little bag of goodies which I am super super excited to share with you. In my little bag I have this cute little jiffy bag and you open it like this. Oh, and before I start, I just want to say that I had such a great experience in store. Um, and thank you so much to the lovely offline editor, Maya, for showing me around and also for your honest opinions about what is most suitable for my skin. So, oh, I just seen this little postcard. Thank you so much, Maya. This is so cute. And I've got this cute little gift, a limited edition scarf. I think I might just um, open it. That is so cute. It's got glossy written across here, and then you've got all the different colours, palettes, as you can see. Thank you so much. And then I have got... Um, a sample of Glossier's Milky Gel Cleanser, which everyone keeps talking about, and I'm super excited to try myself later on. In here, I've also treated myself to these three cloud paint. So the colours I bought were Dusk, Puff and Storm. So there are six main shades um, from this collection. Um, I really wanted them all, but I would just be greedy if I bought them all. So I just chose three of um, my favourites, and they are all inspired by um, New York City's Sunset, which I thought was a nice touch to the brand. How you would open it is like this.
So this is Storm. And you can see it's quite a beautiful kind of dusky red finish to it. Actually apply a little bit on my cheeks. So the offline edit actually recommended that I tap onto my skin rather than spread. So I'm gonna try and do that now as best as I can. definitely added some colour and given my skin a little bit of a lift. Unfortunately my camera isn't that great so I don't know if you can see it. I like it. I think this is something that I would wear every day to be honest. I always like a, a pop of colour. The next one was Dusk, which is a slightly more peachier colour, so I'll open that as well. I have to say, the pigments come out very, very easily. I feel like I've just wasted quite a bit. Anyway, it's fine. So be very careful when you're opening this. I would say just a gentle squeeze will be more than enough. I think I may have added a little bit too much pressure, so I'm pouring quite a lot out. The last one I got is this puff. I like the name. <gasps> yes, be gentle guys. There's Three different shades for three different outfits and three different moods. I feel like I've just wasted a lot but I'm happy with these colours. Right so my verdict of these products. I love them. I think they are fantastic and definitely met my expectations of um, how good they are. I tried, since I tried this one, Storm, um, on my skin. It's definitely the most pigmented one and works with my makeup look today. I am super super happy with the finish of this. It feels very hydrating and almost quite moisturizing as well. Um, the sheen texture feels very soft. Um, it definitely doesn't feel sticky at all. So if you're looking for something that's quite easy to travel with on the go, this is a very good size to carry with. It's it's perfect um, in your makeup bag um, for that everyday look and but for also for makeup artists who wants to carry you know lots and lots of different shades for your next shoot or your fashion week anything at all I think this is definitely highly recommended from in my opinion um, for just ease of transport but also for ease of use as well um, so yes thumbs up for me so for the next product that I chose this time round is this. I am super super excited to bring this along with me for my next shoot hopefully. Um, I am always on the hunt for anything that will help create a beautiful and natural and radiant complexion um, and this I think hopefully will just do the trick. So what I've got here is this little cute box and it is the stretch concealer. So if you've heard about the stretch concealer and love it, please comment below and let me know what your feedback is on this. I have purchased um, the darkest shade only because this is something that's missing in my kit 
something that is um, suited for slightly more darker skin tones um, and I felt like it will be a good way to experiment um, by just trying one shade at a time. This uh, particular concealer comes in 12 shades. It's called the Stretch Concealer and I was told that the product literally stretches with the skin so it gives you that um, hydrated, um, almost quite elastic look. And I mean, that already um, sold it for me. Uh, that is exactly what I'm looking for. So. As I said, it's quite a dark shade, so it's not my shade at all, but I will swatch it for you. It definitely feels very nourishing on the skin and very light, lightweight. And you've got that nice little sheen to it as well. Um, it's creamy but thin, like a veil. And I'm just going to pop this on here. So. So this is the shade I've got. Definitely feels very light. I think you can build it. I'm just gonna keep building. So what I can see is that the product works better when you sort of do very, very short and small strokes and tap it onto the skin. When I try to spread it out like this in one stroke, I find that it just thins out too quickly. So, hmm, this will be interesting to apply on. But other than that, I find that it's, it's definitely given a very, very smooth surface, almost like a very second skin effect, um, which I love, by the way. I personally don't want that um, extra layer of product on the surface of the skin. I think that's very um, unattractive um, and it's not natural. Even if you go for a full coverage look, I always tend to still keep it very flawless and um, as natural looking as possible. Um, but that's just um, my personal taste on applying makeup and I'm happy with this. I mean, it's diffused quite nicely. I think what I'll do is I will try out um, another shade, um, maybe one that I can use on myself and test it out in the future, which is something I should have thought about um, when I purchased it. But other than that, I, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm just excited to take this with me again, with the blush in my kit as soon as I finished filming this video. So the final purchase that I made is this beautiful um, skincare edit set. So this particular set is hailed as the uh, top shelf skincare um, set and it is a bestseller on their website. So here it is. I'm going to try and open it without destroying the packaging. Ta-da! And here we are, this is the full set. So we've got the Glossy Milky Jelly Cleanser, which I also got as a sample. We've got the um, Glossy Future Dew that everyone keeps raving about and telling me to get. We've also got Super Bounce, which is um, used for hydrating, very, very dry and dehydrated skin like mine. Um, and then we've got two little lip balms. One of them's the um, natural one, and then we've got a rose scented one. We've also got this priming moisturizer rich, and then a little headband. So I'm just going to start off with this milky jelly cleanser. Um, this was probably one of the first things I saw when I stepped into the store. So. In this particular product, I'm just going to read to you um, what's in the ingredients list. So there is Paloxima, a strong yet mild cleansing agent that's used in contact lens solution. Um, there is also um, rose water, which replaces one quarter of the water content to help soothe the skin. There's comfrey root extract, which contains allantoin, which heals dry and stressed skin. 
the Quoxel, which refills skin's water reserves and improves its barrier to prevent dehydration. And lastly, there's Pro Vitamin B5, which is a powerful um, natural moisturizer uh, found in mushrooms and cheese. Cleansers I am obsessed with in general um, for my own skin. I like it as part of my daily sort of routine, um, day and night. Recently, I've been looking for something that's a little bit more softer and gentle um, because I'm finding that my skin's quite dry these days. Um, I mean, it just so happens that we are in the middle of February. It's freezing cold and my skin's not reacting very well to that. So the sound of this gel being quite creamy really put an emphasis on what I really want to prioritize. If I were to use this um, in the evening, which I am planning to as well, I would use this as part of my double um, cleanse routine. So I would start off with makeup remover to remove all of the day's makeup um, and then go in with this cleanser to gently remove any excess residue which always happens and um, and then go in with a toner, serum and moisturiser um, and I, I find myself really working with um, my skin more and more these days I think it's it's more of an you know as you grow older you want to take care of your skin more just like your diet what goes on your skin reflects and I really really prioritise what I sort of choose to use so I'm excited to try this out. I mean, I'm just going to show you how it looks and give you my feedback on this. So, it is like a gel texture. Ooh, it's very silky. It's very, very silky. I like it. Oh, and it smells amazing. I think it's it's the rose water. It's a good balance and it's quite refreshing. I can feel my skin really cool. You can't see it anymore now because I've blended it into the skin, but I like the texture of this. It's fantastic. So I'm just gonna quickly wash this off very quickly. So the next product um, in this set that I wanna show you is the Super Bounce. The idea of this is to um, ease and soften um, tight, rough skin. Um, so you apply this on a clean face and you follow with a moisturizer. So in this particular product, the ingredients contain 2% hyaluronic acid complex, which is a, a mega hydrator. Um, so there's three molecular weights of hyaluronic, which helps deliver immediate and long-term hydration soaks into the skin with no stickiness or residue. And then the second ingredient is Pro Vitamin B5, which is also in the cleanser, and it helps the skin look softer and more supple, which is what this product claims to do. So I was drawn to this specifically in store when um, the uh, offline editor showed this to me um, when I explained to her how my skin was feeling. I was very drawn to this because of the the feel of it so i'm just gonna try this again and as i am a, t a huge sucker for products that are suited for dry skin i thought why not add more to my collection so i'm just gonna squeeze to capture a little bit and you can see that it takes a lot of product which is quite nice a little one drop so i don't waste it and it's quite a controlled way of doing that. This feels heavenly. It's not as rich as the cleanser and actually it's a very very thin veil kind of feeling on my skin. Again it smells quite gentle. There is no stickiness and definitely no residue. I can feel. It just feels like my skin has just drank all of this. But I'm very surprised how it just feels very soft. So for my first impression, 
I think I'm definitely going to try this out and put this as part of my uh, daily routine before I give a formal feedback of what I think of this. So far so good. Right, the next product I want to try. Glossier's Priming Moisturiser Rich. Now, again, this is something that I was very intrigued by. Um, I like the fact that it's small in a little container like this. It's very travel friendly. The worst thing I hate doing when I'm traveling is carrying around massive tubs of cream. So there's red algae complex, which acts as a reservoir to deliver moisture to skin hour after hour. There's ceramides three and six, which is um, an oily wax that naturally occurs in skin and fortifies the moisture barrier. There's five key fatty acids. So there's non-greasy kukui oil, which provides the palmitic stearic, oleic, linoleic and linolenic acids which help lock in moisture like a waterproof coating. There are also power primers so they have an anti-redness complex which soothes while the oxygenating agent breathes life into the stressed skin and improves tone and texture even before you put on makeup. There's Murumuru butter um, which is a hard dense butter that we combine with shea for a decadent texture that melts into the skin without any heavy feeling. And lastly there's lavender oil which is known for its antioxidant and skin calming properties. This product literally sounds like a dream um, and let me see if I can smell the lavender. Oh, It smells like lavender. Oh, I like this so far. It's, as you can see, like a thick, moussey texture. Let me take a little, ooh, let me take a little bit of this so you can feel it. It's quite rich, as the product says. Yes, it's very, very rich, but it's a very comfortable, texture. I think it'll be perfect for someone with extremely, extremely dry skin, so almost flaky skin. Um, I love the, um, the scent of it though. It's very calming and I like the buttery texture. This is something that I think I'll definitely try out for day and night. I really like this. I think it's such a dreamy product to have um, and I will let you know what my further feedback is on this. Um, I think I will also take this on set with me um, as well as trying it on myself. It's very portable and I don't think it'll take much room in my kit. So my third, no, fourth product is the Glossier Future Dew. Um, this is an oil serum hybrid and the one thing that I think everyone who's a Glossier fan will know of. In the ingredients, there's a blend of four nourishing oils, jojoba, grape seed, evening primrose, rose hip oil. There's also Evodia ruticarpa extract. So this is a fruit extract known to visibly increase brightness. There's sugarcane squalene, which is a 100% plant-based ingredient that helps lock in moisture. And then there's the light reflecting minerals, which gives all skin tones an immediate glow that lasts all day. So I was very curious about this product so, and actually someone recommended this to be used to create that glowy effect so you would use that last after all your skincare is on. Um, you can use this under your foundation as far as I know. And again I'm just going to try this out. I'm trying to be very careful not to pump up too much. Oh so it's actually like a pinky colour. I'm going to massage that into the skin again. You got that beautiful, you got that beautiful sheen. It definitely does give that extra glow on the skin. But I'm very curious to try and see if it works with my foundation. I always like to have that dewy finish, so 
so far so good so i'm just going to run through the last two together as they are the same one original and one being scented with the rose so this is an all-purpose farm so in this i'll quickly run through the ingredients once again there's castor seed oil so a natural plant extract um and it it's a natural thick emollient um, which has unique water binding properties that keep the moisture locked in. The perfect is what we need in a lip balm. Um, there's beeswax which is also a natural emollient and acts as a protective barrier. There's lanolin which is good for sensitive skin. There's also kubuaku fruit extract um, which is an organic long lasting moisturiser with omega 6 and omega 9 fatty acids that melts into the skin on contact. And lastly there's rice bran and rosemary leaf extracts. So these are antioxidants to combat free radical skin damage. So there's actually seven um, flavours um, plus the um, original one and I actually wanted to try out the coconut flavour one or the mango flavoured one before because um, two of my friends have already tried those and they could not stop telling me about it and I was hoping that one of those flavors would be in the set but anyway rose isn't bad I'm gonna try this out and see if it works for my super dry lips um, and if it works out maybe I'll try out the coconut one or the mango one next so that is everything oh and before I finish there is also this very very cute looking headband so that's my first impressions i hope this has given you a general overview of the products and the brand i've included some links below as well for those who are curious to read a little bit more that i haven't covered and um, feel free to comment below what your favorite products are and also if there are any that you'd like to recommend me to try do give a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these kind of reviews and also a little bit more about my um, journey in the creative world. And follow me on Instagram, it's at Rin underscore Zan to see the rest of my um, projects um, outside of YouTube. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!